All right, what's good, y'all? What's good? What's up, Diesel? What's up? Nikki, bro, the Nikki Poo, what is, what's going on? What's going on? I see that all the time. Every time you come in, that's like the only thing you ever say. How's it going, bro? I'm going to go live on TikTok. Real quick. Lexi, how are you? Good to see you. Welcome in. What's up, Astro? If it's Booty Chicks, it wasn't me. Yo, I got a... I got... There was a game that they recommended earlier today, Teddy. And I was going to buy it until I read reviews. And I was, they said it was very puzzle heavy. And I was like, I'm not I'm not about to go through another whole... Um, what's the word? Um, another, another Madison situation. So... Yeah, I was like, no, nah, forget that. But we got two games. We got two horror games. Maybe get one later on, depending on how the night goes. So, <laughs> oh my god, man! I hope the game's good. I feel like nothing's gonna top Kowloon though. I'm gonna like expect a game like Kowloon every time now. I'm nervous. <laughs> I mean, Mortuary System was pretty good on those. Uh, I want to. I don't know if it was difficulty or what, but it was. It was. Um, it was pretty. It was pretty. It was pretty rough. It was pretty rough. But we are live on YouTube, guys. So please, 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 please open up the YouTube for your boy. Please, we are so close. I'm trying to get partner before uh I'm trying to get partner before September, hopefully. Hopefully. Is it gonna show up? I need this game to show up on my screen. Give it a second. Hopefully. Why is it not showing up on my OBS? Still not showing up. Hold on. Maybe if I quit and reopen. Watching on here and YouTube. Yo, I appreciate that. Thank you so much. If this game will ever show up on my OBS, please. Bro, it was literally working like two seconds ago. Like I tested the audio and everything before I even like started stream and it was working. So don't know what's going on. Is it because it's not full screen? Is it, do I need to make it full screen? Because it said any full sky, full size screen. There it goes. There it goes. Finally. Okay. Now we're in business. All right. All right. All right. Um, should I move my webcam down? I feel like I should move it down because, um, like put it like right there, I guess. Yo, what's up shadow? How are you? All right, this is one Teddy recommended. So if it's bad, blame Teddy. Nah, I'm just playing. I don't even know. Fulcrof? Montessori? Montessori? Yo, I'll see it. <laughs> Not bad. What about you? I'm okay. I'm okay. School started. It's, uh, it's going. I'm actually I'm in an editing class, so I'm kind of excited. Because I'm, like, meeting... I'm, like, talking to, like, other people who do, do somewhat, like, video editing, so... All right, let's do it. Let's play. Let's go. <laughs> no, no, don't cry. <laughs> All right, let's see what this is about. My name is Anthony. I was approached by a man claiming to work for an organization only known as the SMS Group. He offered me a contract to retrieve an artifact from an abandoned Montessori that upon completion would pay $100,000. With my bills stacking up, my house in shambles, and no hope on the horizon, I took the offer and asked little questions. Supposedly, the locals claim that the old Montessori is haunted. 
the home to an ancient evil. I don't believe in ghosts, but I do believe in money. And the money would help me get my life back together. Yo, we need that money. We got to go get the money. Yo, welcome back, Cryptic. How are you? Bro, I've always been able to read. <laughs> Jenny, shut up. <laughs> How are you, Jenny? How are you? All right. I hope this is good. Yo, okay. Okay. First glance. First glance. I'm liking it because we start off with a flashlight and the graphics don't look too bad. Like, look at that tree. That's pretty good. Eve, how are you? Ooh, there's something over there. I can't run, though. That's a, that's a turn off. What game is this? Yo, I follow you, and you follow me. I think. How are you? Um, this game. Yo, I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna. I ain't gonna hold it to you. It's <laughs> Fullcroft Montessori. Fullcroft Montessori. I think I'm saying that right. I think I'm saying that right. But that it's on Steam. It's like seven bucks. I think. Yo, thank you for the little crown. How's streaming been going? Am I not supposed to interact with that? That's like shine. Oh. Okay. Hey, how are you? Have a great stream night, homie. Good night. Sleep tight. Monastery. Monastery. There we go. Learned a new word. All right, where am I going? I guess the front door, obviously. Actually, no, that's wrong. All right, clearly, yo, that's a big turnoff. I can't, I can't run. I don't like that. What is the point of coming up here? Do I need something? I don't. All right, let's just... Let's just... Mm, lock. Maybe there's another way inside. Well, no kidding, brother, because... What the... Yeah, just... That is also locked. I can find something to break this lock. Isn't that what I just picked up? How do how do I? You know, not a good start, Teddy. <laughs> We're smart people. We can figure this out. What other games do you play? We play a lot of story-based games and a bunch of horror games, like a lot. If I can figure this out, this is a new one. We haven't tried this one though. Alt F2? I think it's Alt F4 you're thinking of. <laughs> what is this? It's a can. Can I turn off this light? Wait, that's what the hammer was for, wasn't it? I gotta go with the hammer and it'll break the lock. Ah, have you played any Resident Evil? Yes, I have. Biohazard is the best Resident Evil. And I got the hammer. I think I I think I met I think I found you when um you you were either playing uh oh my god what's that game we just played it like two months ago or a month ago Detroit Become Human or Resident Evil 4 or was it 2 I think it was 2 boom I'm just good like that May long time no see all right okay All F2 will close it and launch something else. What would it what exactly would it launch? Because all F4 is literally just closing it out. Yes, I did a marathon where we played all the Resident Evil games. I you know what's funny? You know what's funny? Um I have not finished the Resident Evil 4 remake. I got to the very end and stopped. I probably feel like very bad about it because I never actually that was my first time playing it was the remake and I never finished it. I don't know, it got boring. It got boring to me. Like, I don't know. Everybody said the fourth one was the best one, but I don't know. Like, I I, beg, I think two was better. Two and three were really good. Sonic Frontiers was lame. I'm never touching that game. I think I bought it for the hype, honestly. All right, we're inside somewhere. Yikes. Okay, was that supposed to scam me? You're going to have to do a little bit better than that. All right. <laughs> we had to call off the renovation projects here at the monastery. Monastery? Am I saying that right, Cryptic? 
monastery. Too many workers were becoming ill, and we believe it may, ca may be caused by some sort of mold around the place due to its age. Hopefully soon we can get a team up to find the source. This That's a T, right? Yeah, find the source so that the project can resume. Okay. Look at that. Can I pick that up? Yo, it's one of these games that you can't, like, pick up things until you, like, you have to encounter the problem first, I guess. Because we saw that hammer first, and then it wouldn't let us pick it up. We're in the kitchen. Yeah, and clearly we need the... I need to find a way to remove the boards, and I go and get the crowbar. Mon is starry. Mon is starry. You have to pull, you have to play the original Resident Evil Four. I you know what's funny? I had the Resident Evil uh, the first one I think, and I still have yet to even open the game. Come on, you're gonna have to do a little bit better than that. Oh, there's a person here, bro. Come on, come on, give me give me something good. Give me something. We're used to this. This is this is like baby steps. Come on, we're we're we're, we're pros at these games. We're pros. You gotta. You never heard of monastery? Nah, I'm not. The ladder is missing. Of course it is. Bro, I've always wanted to go to a sunflower, um, like a sunflower pet. What the fuck was that? What was that? <laughs> you missed stuff? I did. Where did I miss stuff at? Back here? too late it's never too late i feel like before resident evil 5 all the controls were will fu frustrate you because they frustrated me yo i will say going for i went from resident evil village to resident evil biohazard to resident evil 2 then to 3 and then um then we waited for 4 and then we stopped there and i never played i never played the first one and i think there was another one i didn't play because they didn't have a remake I'm going to a sunflower field soon before winter kind of hype. Yo, they look really pretty, so I think that'd be pretty cool. Especially that you can take some good pictures out there. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, where we at? Where we at? What we doing? Okay. Oh my God. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. Okay, chill. Relax. Relax. Seriously for that shit. <laughs> uh, you got me. You got me. <laughs> Oh, that was you. Okay, okay, you got me. I, I'll give you that. I was a little nonchalant there. You know, I was getting a little... There's nothing here. Oh, wait, there's something over here. Did you enjoy Life is Strange? I very much did. I very much did. That game was really good. I was... I asked chat earlier today if they ever heard of a game called... Uh... Oh, my God. I forgot what it's called. It starts with a T. It's like three... It's like two or three words in the, in the title... And it's the same creators from Life is Strange, but some, someone said they had the game, but they haven't played it yet. Tell me why. That's it. Tell me why. It's like a, like a, like a brother and sister relationship story or something like that. No, not True Colors. Everybody told me True Colors was bad, so we never played it. Ooh. All right, let's just keep moving. Let's just keep moving. Are you talking like Game of Thrones, brothers and sisters? I don't watch Game of Thrones. I don't know anything about Game of Thrones. And I will never watch Game of Thrones. Yo, light work, no reaction. No pun intended. You got to do a little bit better than that, buddy. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, oh, hello. Oh, hearty har har. Oh, baby heads! Baby heads. I assume you mean Sweet Home Alabama siblings? Yo, relax. Oh, a Ouija board! Um, we're missing the, the little, like, piece, the little glass piece. Is that in here, or is that somewhere else? Don't touch that board, Nick. In real life, I would never touch this board. We don't talk to people. Yo. <laughs> I need the piece. I don't know where the piece is. That's new. Clearly, we got to go where the red door, where the red silhouette is. Oh, look at that. Oh, 
Oh. <laughs> Um, I still think you should give Silent Hill games a try. I can't find the Silent Hill game, like the original ones. I don't know where to play those. Have you played the Quarry? I absolutely have. We did like a whole binge of like a month and a half um, of just straight decision-based games, and it was a lot of fun. Wait, was that the thing I needed? I wasn't even paying attention. Oh. I'm awake. I'm alert. I'm... Stop. <laughs> Stop. Yo. Yo, relax. <laughs> that was that was definitely... Um, it caught me off guard. Have you played Little Nightmares? I literally played that like a week and a half ago. I kid you not. It was really good. I played those the first two for the first time. It was really good. All right. Let's see what we got to do here. Well, Nick, try GOG.com, someone said, for Silent Hill. Bet. The way he ran. <laughs> Wait, I still don't have the P. What did I pick up, y'all? Did I pick up one of those random, like, little cup things? I was not paying attention. That is my fault. Shut the fuck up. You shut the fuck up. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, no, that was the boot cutters. What the fuck am I going to do with boot cutters? Where did we see, uh... Where did we see boot cutters? Or wait, where do we see the chains for boot cutters? Boot, cut boot cutters, boot the chains right here. What the f- Yo, relax, relax. Boom. But the graphics give you- See, you know what's funny? I tried- We played- We played the whole game. We already beat the whole game, right? We played it today because I found out that there was a set- they, Apparently, it's a new setting. I found it from a video on TikTok today. They had a new setting that you can max out the scariness, and there was stuff we haven't seen in that game because we never, I guess it just never came. But ma play that game and give up, max out the settings um, before you hop into like the world, and it's a game changer. It's so the game is so much better. All right, what are we doing? You're such a smart ass, Nick. What are you talking about? What did I do? <laughs> All right, I just want to say I missed y'all. It's been a while since we just, you know. Got scared together. Oh, wait. It might be up here. Max out the scary. No, it was. I got clips made because there was some stuff in there we had not seen. It was so funny. What is this? Bro, it's not scary when I can't see you. Like, are you going to come out? For, like, what is this? Mm. Clearly, I don't have the code. the heck oh thank you for the hand heart i'm going to bed but when you do you usually stream i my schedule is a little wonky because i have school right now but um that's why we're streaming later than usual but i usually stream at eight, eight o'clock p.m est silent hill 2 is on steam nick yeah it's for pre-order it's been on my wish list for like a year okay that's good night be safe Thanks for vibing. That, that's gonna be awesome. I've never played I never played one. Yo, thank you for the TikTok and the GG's. And the pizza and the donut. Yo, thank you. And the high bear. Oh my goodness. Thank you for the rose and the fire. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. And the anemo slime and the chili pepper and the pink shoes and the weights and the panda and the big love and the lightning bowl and the ice cream cone. My goodness. Thank you for the court. Thank you. You're too Stop it. No. Enjoy the music. Thank you. Earth, the cat claws, the chills, the GGs, the perfume. Oh my goodness. And the tiny diny. <laughs> Go to bed. <laughs> thank you so much. Just say thank you for everything. You're right. You're right. Thank you for everything. Do you have a PS3, Nick? No. I was an Xbox 360 boy. And then I went from XR360. Well, hello, friend. Oh, you don't want to be friends with me? <gasps> Holy smokes! Okay, that was really, like, anticlimactic. Jeez, that was not that scary. Calm down. All right, I think we're, like... Are we in a castle, by chance? I don't know what we're... Oh, look at that. What is this? A pendulum? What the hell is a pendulum? 
We're back at the Olive Yo, Garden. Yo, smart people. We're gonna be you guys are smart. What's a pendulum? Booties. What is a pendulum? Oh, that's the thing that goes in clocks. Duh, right? No. <laughs> is that the thing that goes in clocks? I don't know, bro. Is another thing that goes like ding, 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 ding. Like, you know what I'm talking about? No, it's called pendulum. Pendulum. Not pendulum. 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 It's a tool in witchcraft, so it was definitely not a clock, and y'all lied to me. Bro, what are we... Mother Eliza says we are to prepare to leave the monastery. Monastory. Monastery. Whatever. She is afraid that the evil here cannot be contained for much longer. We have done our very best. Yo, thank you for the gifted solve, Astro. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate you. Yo, thank you. Nick, you should look up words on Google and listen to the audio for pronunciation. Yo, shut up. Now, why do I have to do that when I have you guys? I don't gotta do that. Danny, how are you? James, um, this game is... What is this game called again? <laughs> Fullcroft Monastery. Something like that. Jackie, how are you? We have done our very best, but I feel like this place has too much of a dark past for the likes of us to transform it. I do not know where our con convent will move on to from here, but I pray that newcomers will stay away from this place because by then the evil may be free. Okay, clearly there's no evil here because we have not been scared like that often. Oh, covenant. Oh, let's see, that makes more sense. See, they got to put words like that. <laughs> All right, what are we doing? Okay, we can't go in there. Um, no, do not, do not do that. That's 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 a lot of money. <laughs> Wait, no, we came through here. What do we... No, we got the thing out of this. So what do we... All right, let's think it through. Let's think. We picked up something right there. Let's maybe go back upstairs, I think. It's got to be something upstairs. We can't do nothing down here, right? Would I be mad? I wouldn't be mad, but that that's just way too much, dude. That's like a lot of money. Like, what if you needed that? Like, that's a, like you got to worry about yourself first. Like, bills to pay, emergencies. Like, what if your car breaks down or something and you need to make repairs? Like, that's... You got to factor that in. Dude, I don't know where to go with this pendulum. 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 Whatever. Would you wear the hot dog suit if he did? I mean, sure, I guess. I mean, it's literally right over there. Like, it's it's always, you know, it's always there. It's good to go whenever. I don't know what to do with this. You said it's used. Duh, she said witchcraft. She said, she said you use this for, what do we do? Wait, right here, duh. I wish I could run, but I can't. Witchcraft, the Ouija. Ah, see, Teddy got, ah, big brain power. Big brain power. Now, where where was that again? <laughs> where was that room at, y'all? I don't remember. <laughs> she said I was waiting for someone to figure that out. All right, let's go. Two thousand, bro. That is insane. Cause I think like a hundred subs is like five hundred dollars. It's not, it's not at, it's not this. So what am I doing? Mm, the clock? Did you see a clock? Is there a clock in here? There's not a clock. There was a clock in the, that's locked. That's locked. And there's. 
there's I don't know where I'm going. Maybe go maybe maybe there was I think there was a clock in the Well here's a fireplace. But there's nothing here. Maybe there's another fireplace? There is a clock right here. Cry if, uh, 500 donuts. Probably, dude. Probably. What did that just do? Did that just lock us out? Oh, right there. Now it's there. We're ahead of ourselves. Oh! Oh my god, you know. <clears throat> that wasn't scary at all. Clearly. Clearly. Um Um Y'all were scared. I was not. I was not scared, and I will never be scared because uh this game's not that scary. <laughs> okay. Um <clears throat> <clears throat> Bro, I got so scared my mouse like I pushed my mouse away and uh I got like a like I just I these games are getting very creative. The other game had the scare in the picture frame, like when you turned it over. This one had a scare when you picked it up and it came out of the fireplace, so that's very very creative. Okay. Let's go. Mirror, mirror on the wall. Am I the prettiest guy of them all? What is that? Oh, that was the code for the thing. I gotta re I gotta watch it again. Hold on. That was going like 60 miles per hour. Hold on. Go again. Oh, 37495. We got it. <laughs> oh, shut up, Astro. <laughs> Three seven four nine five. Uh huh. Oh yeah, you s you think you're bad? You ain't bad. You ain't nothing. That's new. This what this area is new right here. Nah 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 nah. Let's 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 not get ahead of ourselves. All right, because that's what's gonna get us in trouble. Let's 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 go do this first and probably whatever's in here is what we need over there. You said Nick wants to be haunted, I will never be haunted. Okay. Okay. <sighs> Three seven four nine five. Boom. A decorative shield. <laughs> Bro, how are you gonna... <laughs> <sighs> She's just like, hello, friend. I just want to ask you about your car's extended warranty for a little second. Did you know you could save 15% or more on car insurance when you switch to Geico or Progressive or whatever that commercial says? Shut up. I have Geico. I have USAA. I had Geico when I was like 17, I think. What is this? Can I crouch? A lighter? Bro, you're kidding. You're kidding. Jenny with the galaxy! Yo, thank you so much, Jenny. Thank you, thank you so much. Okay, there's nothing there. 
I don't know when you sent that. If it was like earlier and I missed it, I'm sorry. I just now saw that. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thank you. Game name? This is... Bro, what's this game called? <laughs> I have to keep like tabbing out. Full Croft Monastery. M-O-N-A-S-T-E-R-Y. Did you flush the toilet? No, like, why would I do that? Lighter flute? We're about to lose our flashlight. We're about to lose our flashlight. What is this? It won't let me leave. Wait, it won't let me leave here. I've lost track of how many nights it's been. Weeks, maybe? All I wanted was a shelter from the storm, but now I'm trapped. This place is cursed. It wants me to feed it. I'm almost out of food. Most of what I found is expired or decayed. I'm, I, didn't, I do not believe in a god before, but with something this evil, there has to be... What is that? There has to be a good... Please, if you are out, if you are out there, please don't let this place take me. It's so hard to read with that light. I gotta not like turn on my light. Just subbed, yo! Thank you, Prince. I appreciate. It. Oh my God! Yes, we guys, we on TikTok and Kick. We are live on YouTube. If you guys could just have it open, be greatly appreciated. I know what we gotta do. That shield is for that one room with the knights in it. It's gotta be. Right? I think we came in here already. Yeah, we did. Yeah, yeah, we came in here. So we gotta go this way? It's gotta be this way, right? I don't think we went upstairs as of yet. No, we've we've been here. This place doesn't have hasn't had power for years. Okay. There's something over there. Love your content, like your sense of humor. Yo, I appreciate that. Thank you. You're my comfort streamer. Aw, oh, thanks. I don't know where, where was that room we were at. I don't remember what room that was. The room with um. They were they were they were lit before. They were lit before. I remember. That's why I wasn't. I'm looking for that room with the knights in it, and like that has that the basement. We're looking for a downward path. Where's that basement path? That I remember now. It's got to be right here, right? And it's not there. I don't remember where the basement path was. Um, I don't remember where that was. Yeah, I don't remember where that. I like. I remember where like. I hate that sound. So so much. Ladders missing. Can you sprint? Unfortunately, no. I've been really. <gasps> I hate you. <laughs> I don't know where those stairs were. <laughs> I don't know where the stairs are. I forgot where the stairs are. Uh, I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me figure this out. I know where we got to go. I just don't remember where the stairs are. Yeah, we can't go. It's not in this room. Oh, my God. I found the stairs. Look at that. All right. I'm pretty sure we gave a shield to one of the knights or something. Nobody jump out and e, 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 e. Nobody scare me. Oh wait, no, it's in here. It's in here. Nobody scare me. Which one which one needs it? 
Maybe this one? Something is missing from the statue. Yeah, the shield that we have. Oh my god, stop! Okay, we need one more shield and it's gonna open that, I'm guessing. I think we explored this before already, right? Yeah. I think we need to go upstairs now. Like, not these stairs, but the other stairs. Um, yeah, I'm thinking that. But at least now we know it's in the, the... It's in this room. Is where those stairs are. That one is missing a sword, maybe. We haven't been... The only place we haven't been is up here, so... And there's nothing up here. Oh! That's what the lighter's for! Oh! Kind of like these on fire? Bro. Big brain moves. Can I light these candles? I can't. Okay, that's like not part of the game, I guess. Okay, that's locked. Hello? The ladder. Boom. I just put it in my door of the ex <laughs> Okay. I mean... Okay. Just... Okay. <laughs> okay. Alright, now this goes in the well. You're gonna have a panic attack. Where's the well? The well, the well... <laughs> Are we going down there? Yeah, we're going down here. Yeah, you're you're bugging on some Oh, it's not that Is it that deep? It is not that deep. All right. Bro, how did you know it was a sword? How did you know it was a sword? Please don't go up. Don't don't do that. And she's right there. Don't do that. You, you don't want to do this. You really don't. She's, she, I'm just too scary. What do knights carry? Yeah, knights carry a, uh, a, uh, a sword, but like, oh, uh, but I thought they would have, I thought they would have wanted two shields, you know? Like, is that just me? Am I the only one who thought that? I thought it was gonna be two shields. <laughs> Yo, probably yeah. I cut yeah, because you wouldn't see me in here, no doubt. If it's you're telling me it's haunted, I'm not gonna go and investigate. That's like that one game um with the guy who like goes to that like weird Russian house because he's a content creator or whatever, and he like starts like seeing a bunch of crap. Like it's not. We don't. We, I don't do that. All right, now this is gonna move right. That's the game plan. It's gonna like slide in or something. Or open up, you know, that's like a door. Boom. Look at that. Teamwork makes the dream work. All right. What is this like the dungeon? Like where they throw people in the brig or whatever? The Let me guess it's gonna be like find a I 
spoke too soon. Please don't touch me. Don't don't touch me. All right. <clears throat> These people here, they are monsters. First, they torture us, they take our blood for some sort of ritual, and then when no one is near their death, are taken someplace else and disposed of in a ceremony. These people speak of someone they call the Master, but I have never seen him. Perhaps it is some sort of deity this cult worships. There was a priest here among us, and he caused pain to the followers of this cult. They disposed of him in the well, and only God knows what they did to him. I fear that I may be next. I cannot stand the thought of what will happen to me. Deity? Y'all, listen, listen, listen. Listen. Deity. Nah, it's probably deity. You're right. <laughs> Is she on the fucking seat? I gotta get out of here. That's enough for me. If she's crawling, you, it's one thing to be on the ground, but if, if you're on the ceiling, it's game over. It's game over. Who the fuck was that? Who was that? Oh. <laughs> oh. Is that. I could have seen. I could have been seeing things, but I'm pretty sure that was a guy in like a pig's head. They're about to torture us. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's like your, like a torture dungeon. Is that, is that what I'm getting from this? A chalice. Okay. All right. The Crusaders have come and torn our place apart. It won't be long before they discover our my quarters here, but I will not let them have the joy of taking me. I will make one last offer to the master with that of my own soul. I will return stronger than ever. Yeah, I don't think, uh, I don't think you really, I don't think that really went well for you, buddy. Now, do I, do I go back up? I'm assuming we go back. Why do you walk away so casually? This guy's not even afraid. Whoever we're playing has not even afraid at all. Was there always stairs here? Oh yeah, bro. I don't know why I thought we were in the well. I don't know why we were, I, I don't know why I thought we were in the well. Okay. Okay. I'm freaking out a little bit because there's a lot of white sheets and um, I'm feeling like there's like a monster behind him. One of them. Okay. Obviously the chalice goes right there, right? So... Do I need to go back in the well? Do I go back in the well? Yo, thank you for the roses. I just now saw it. Thank you so much. Do you think I go back in the well? Teddy, I don't like that negativity. <laughs> I'm gonna go back upstairs. Do you think I go back in the well? I... Mm. Maybe. Maybe you need a key? Okay. Mm. I don't know where to go. Let's think. Later may be safe. I mean, we can try going back in the well. Maybe there was something in here we didn't see. No, there's just this guy that's dead. You can go upstairs. Okay, let me go back upstairs. And then upstairs again. 
I just don't know where else I would go. I, we've been everywhere. We've done everything. Besides, like, you know, that part. Um... Okay, this is all the way upstairs. Nope, there's nothing up here. Will? Well. Well. We already did that, though. There's nothing in the well anymore. There was some doors that we didn't open, like, earlier in the game. Could it have something to do with this? What would I what what exactly would I need for that painting though? It's just a painting. You could just move a painting, could you not? We gotta put the chalice on the table? Like, I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. Try to open all the doors in the dungeon. Oh yeah, they... Oh, it's still there. All the doors in the dungeon. That was... This way. Maybe there's something I missed in the office? Like, I have no idea. Like, I am stumped. And watch, I guarantee we walked past it already. Like, whatever we have to do. said try to open the keep the the cells can't do that I ain't gonna lie that little beep scared me Nothing's nothing's working. Uh Let's go back and read the book, I guess. There's got to be something in here that we missed. I feel like we didn't really look in here.
All right, hear me out. Because he says make an offer. Do you think we need to go to the Ouija board? It could be the Ouija board. It could be the Ouija board. We got to communicate with whatever he did, maybe. I mean, it's possible. It's the only thing I got, though, from reading that. Because there's nothing we can do in this room as of yet. Is that me? I really hope that was me. Have you lit the torches? Stop. Are you serious? Is that what I have to do? I didn't even know I could do that. Is that what I have to do? Ain't no way. No way. No shot. I don't know, let's see. Yeah, I have the lighter. Bro. Wow. I'm so dumb, I would've never thought of that. Clearly. Wow. A game, wow. Wow, thank you. I would have never figured that out. We entered the catacombs. I would have never thought of that too. That's what I'm saying. I would have never thought of that. Now this is, have y'all seen that movie about the catacombs? Like there's like a horror movie where like a bunch of explorers like go to Paris or something and like they go into the catacombs. The movie's terrifying. I'm very claustrophobic, so. Oh my god. Ooh. Is that the fifth one? Nope, that's the fourth one. Okay. I've never played Skyrim, so I can't relate. Ooh, there's a lover. Oh my god. Yo, what's good, homies? You know, just walking by. Don't worry about me. Yo, that is creepy. Why are we... Why do we continue to search? Nah, that is... I'm afraid to pull this one because I don't know what's going to happen. <laughs> I think I was supposed to drop down with it. I don't think I was supposed to be up here. Uh-huh. Um, what's up? Yo, what? Oh. Oh my god. What is this? This is what was requested. Now time to get out of this disturbing place. Oh yeah, I forgot we were doing this for money. For the $100,000. They told us to come in here and search for this thing. Yeah, I don't think we're making it out of it. No wonder that guy decided to stay. Uh, shoot, would y'all do this for $100,000? Nope. 
Uh, that has answered my question. Absolutely. Absolutely fucking not. Absolutely fucking not. <laughs> no shot. Ryan, you, you're telling me you do that for $100,000. Wouldn't enjoy it, though? Heck no, dude. I don't even think I'd make five minutes of this. No shot. My boy, my bo bro, I'd be crying. I'd be crying running back to the car. Mm-mm. Oh, hello. Yikes, now we can run. Yeah. Oh my god. Yo, stop the cap. I'm running, running and running, running and running, running and running. See you later, suckers. <laughs> I just got a hundred thousand dollars. Boom. I'm a rich man. I left as quickly as I could. Thankfully, I was able to obtain the artifact that the man requested. As soon as I returned home, I reached out on a number of on the number provided by the mysterious man in order to exchange this book for my payment. But the number was no longer in service. It has now been a week, and there is no trace of the man or this mysterious SMS group who con contracted me. I thought they meant contacted me. And worst of all, I believe that something followed me home from that cursed place. I am becoming paranoid. It feels as if someone or something is watching me. My only choice is to try to track down this company and get some answers as to why this book was so important. The only place left to try is the dark web. Surely something lies there that can explain who these people are. Uh, Ryan... You still want to do that? You still want to? You still want to try, bro? I, I would be so mad right now. Thank you for playing. Rate the game, chat. Rate the game. It was it was pretty good. I liked it. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten, right there. That's a ten out of ten. That's ten out of ten. Teddy, good job. Good freaking job, Teddy. Uh the place but the fishy on me got a lot to be but the fishy on yeah me. but there's like two be it was to be continued me. fishy on me fishy on me i don't want the place but the fishy on me got a lot to be but i'll slap your knee fishy to be but i don't Solid know nine out of ten. fishy on me it's a fishy to be no nah, that's a nine i think that's i think that was I, that was good that was good i was not expecting um to be continued and now i need the second one Movement could be better. Oh, 100%. Yeah. I take it back. I gave it a 9 out of 10 then. Or a 9.5. All right. Let's see if this other one is any good. This one's called The Survey. This one I chose. It's been in my wish list for like who knows how long. I don't know anything about this. So here we go. It's called. If it ever like, you know, there it goes. This game is called The Survey. I don't know nothing about this game. So we're just going to hop right in. Oh, it's loading. You see it? Oh, there it goes. Press the space key to start. You did good, Teddy. You did good. Press E to interact with objects. Wait, how, what do you mean? This game's gonna... Whoa, I can move fast. I can move fast. Oh no, dude. Why can't we turn on the lights? Oh. <laughs> I can. Nothing good happens in the bathrooms. Yo, pretty sweet bathroom. You're welcome for Yeah, I said thank you. I said thank you. You did really good. Thank you so much. Y'all thank Teddy. She's the one who found that game. I, I liked it. I liked it a lot. I guess we're just good to go downstairs, I guess. Now, that speed I like, yo, for real. But that worries me because maybe we're about to get chased or something. Whoa. Okay. 
what it just threw me in here so well what was that ew who lived in here i'm not liking how fast these guys open the doors though i'm not a fan Right. Use a cell phone by pressing the space button. Okay. What's this? Where's my dot? Wait, it says master bedroom, other bedroom, living room. Look for the channel numbers. Unlock it quickly. She's watching you. Don't leave the st static on for too long. It makes her ears bleed. Right now, she's upstairs waiting for you. What? I've written in this journal... I haven't written in this journal in a while, but I thought I'd write something down. Right now, Lilith is six years old, while Marcus is, I think, four. The other day, she was painting a picture, and it looked fairly abstract at first. Just a blend of seemingly random shades and hues. After making dinner, I came back to find her replicating a painting we had in our kitchen. It was remarkable. I haven't told Joseph yet, but I think Lilith could end up being a very special girl. I asked her where she learned to paint that way, but she responded in a confusing man confused manner as if all she was doing was casually playing around with paint. She managed to almost completely replicate the artwork, including even the smallest details of the piece. I'll definitely have to keep an eye on her talent. Right now, Joseph and I are both working parents. Financially, we're doing well. No real troubles, no family issues either besides his drinking problem. I'll finish this entry up after I cook dinner. Mary Walker. So, my husband's a drunk. The fuck is this? Is that an... I was about to say, is that Roman, Roman numerals? But, clearly not. Okay, talk about, like, the dimmest lights on the planet. What is this? And, well, obviously it's another, but, like... Yikes. Can I get some, like, context? Like, what it, like... You're giving me a phone, but I don't have the code. Hundred K is quite a bit. It is a lot, but not a lot to do what he just did. Now he's stuck with the demon, and it's on to be. Okay, we're good. Okay, where exactly is it? It said it was upstairs, but it said something about static. You said one, two, three, four, five, six. Bro, and the phone's on 18%. You already know that stuff's gonna die. I don't even know where to look. That's like the crazy part. Like, I don't know where to look. Like, she's up here. The TV? What does that say? Eight? Is that, is that what we're going off of? Did I turn off this light? Okay. Man, a little sp it's locked. Yo, this power bill about to be massive. Bro, how do I open this door? It like shows up. Oh, oh. 
Do I gotta like flip through the? Is there a reflection? I I don't understand. Is there? There is a TV in her in this room. What is that? Twenty nine. Okay, I could have sworn this was eighteen then. If it's showing different. It could be. All right, Teddy, be safe. Have a good one. Mm. Hold on, let's see. Wasn't there a TV down here somewhere? Yep. 97. Wait, so what is it? What was the numbers? Wh Crud. Hold on. 97. 1, 8, 2, 9. No, that's still 6. It might just be... Hold up. 8, 2... Nine, nine, seven. Yeah, let's go. All right. Hey, it's your manager, Mark. Are you available to work the next weekend? Emma can't come in, so it will only be you and Katie. It's going to be a pretty busy weekend. We she could use the extra hand things. Oh, is this like Oh. Oh, okay. Welcome to the survey. You have been chosen to represent a certain demographic that is currently being studied. Please be honest while answering your questions. Your cooperation, honestly, and honesty is appreciated. Please continue to begin. Are you currently situated in your home? Yeah. Do you use your mobile device often? Yeah. Did you forget your password for your mobile device? Did we chat? I don't think we really did because we this is not my phone. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say no. Was finding the password for your phone easy or hard? easy is anyone with you in your house currently no there's nobody in this house no are you a college student what the fuck yeah do you enjoy being home alone yeah Yo, wait, what's happening? Does it ever feel creepy when you're home alone? No. Have you ever experienced the phenomenon of feeling as... A feeling as if you were being watched, but in reality you're not? No. Individuals report this phenomenon quite frequently, especially when you're around certain painting dolls or statues. Are any of those objects inside your house? I mean... Yeah. How many televisions are currently in your house? Yo, I thought like I'm about to get robbed, bro. I feel like this is like a situation to get robbed. Do I lie? How many TVs do I have in my house? I got... I got three. Thank you for participation. Thank, thank you for your participation. Please take a short break. We will continue your survey shortly. Okay. Yo. <laughs> What the heck kind of survey is this? I don't know. It got a little personal, it felt like. Hold up. What do I what do I do now? Just walk around, I guess? Um What is this? First answer the questions from the phone, then wait upstairs for the crash. 
Head downstairs and pick up the note in the living room. So I go back upstairs. Bro, what kind of freaking... Stop it. Bro, I'm a tall guy. Leave me alone. What, what, what's the problem? Is it a crime to be... What the fuck? What is that? It said, uh, P? Documents? Uh, local... Pro okay. Okay. Lilith Walker began painting when she was six years old. Though only being 12, the child prodigy is able to recreate masterpieces with only rudimentary materials. The child belongs to the local Walker household. Her father, Joseph Walker, a construction worker, along with Mary Walker, working as a secretary at the law firm. According to Mary and Joseph, Lilith loved to paint and ex expressed her talent early. She also stated that she practices anywhere from 5 to 10 hours a day just to practice her craft. Her artwork has gained popularity as demanded for her pieces and replications have skyrocketed re recently. Although she enjoys painting, she also plays a variety of instruments such as the violin, piano, and cello. On top of painting, she also enjoys what? Yo, okay, a girl can paint pictures just from Lily nothing, and she can play a bunch of instruments? It's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. I'm talented. I'm kind of jealous. Do I got to ask questions there? All right, let's go. <clears throat> oh, okay, that's a big one. For the next portion of the survey, you will, we will need you... We will need you to fulfill a request. We will need you to check if your bathroom appliances are working, specifically the sink and light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check if those appliances are working properly. Mm, I don't know. Hello from Vegas. How are you today? I'm good. How are you? <sighs> All right, let's go. Yo, somebody turned off the lights. I'm, like standing in corners, bro, because I don't know what to expect. <laughs> Wait, it said in the uh, you need to approve the request. You will need to check if your bathroom appliances are working, specifically the sink and light switches. Please enter the bathroom in your master bedroom and check in. Nothing good comes in the bathrooms, bro. I'm gonna let you know that right now. Oh, there's no. Bro. What do you mean? What is this? Are you sure? Resume? I'm freaking out a little bit. Resume game? Alright, 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 alright. I asked my mom to get me a diary after my first painting sold. I just thought it would be nice to write down some of my thoughts. Mom and dad want me to keep painting, but I don't know if I, I should. It seems like all they want to do is make money from it. This reporter came in the other day. His name was Rick Driver. And he asked us a bunch of questions. Apparently, we're going to be an article in the local news. Mom said it would help with my publicity. I hardly even like painting, but whatever makes them happy, I guess. I actually like playing the violin and piano more, way more than painting. I mean, it's okay, but it's not something I enjoy doing that much. I just hope that include they include Marcus in the article. I know how much he loves writing. It seems like Mom and Dad barely even pay any attention to him. Is this my fault? Maybe he hates me? Maybe if I'm lucky, I'll trip, fall down the stairs, and break my arms so I can't paint anymore? At least for a while. The sound did pause. Yo, I didn't even notice that until you said that. Oh, yeah. 
We gotta go. We gotta go. Bro, is it... Is it darker than usual? No, we're good. We're good. Maybe, like, let me close this. Because we don't need to be in there. Let me close that. There's somebody there. Yo, I think I just fell through the floor. I just fell through the floor. I just fell through the floor. What the fuck? <laughs> I just felt okay. Um, let's go. Are they working properly? I guess. Do you notice anything diff? Anything strange? Yeah. She heard you. Hide. Thank you for your input. The next set of questions involve your personal preferences concerning music. Do you enjoy listening to music? Yeah. Do you enjoy listening to rock? Yeah. Do you enjoy listening to ro Yo, what it what the bro I'm being hacked. If I don't come if I don't go live tomorrow, y'all know what happened to me. Do you want to listen to classical music? Chat, what's considered classical music? Is that like the classics? Like when they, you know, like when you talk about the classics? Like, you know, like the classics. I, I'm going to say yeah. I'm going to say yeah. Do you remember your sister's taste in music? Nah. Wait, how do you know? How do you know that? How do you know I have a on top of being a talented painter, she was also a talented violin player. Do you remember her playing any songs on her violin? No. Were you ever jealous of how gifted she was? We're the brother. We are the brother. How, how everyone always paid attention to her? I'm going to say yeah. Turn on the radio downstairs. Nana. Is it Nana? 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 I think it's Nana, right? Yeah, what's up? Oh wait, our mom our mom messaged us. How are you two doing? I just I know it must be hard for you with college work and taking care of Lilith. I'm at a hotel right now and I'm supposed to meet my clients tomorrow. I should be back within a week. Stay strong, mom. Eight six nine two eight nine two six four. going out there is that what it wants me to do or does it just want me to listen to this song the entire time no it just says listen to the song so i guess he says listen to the song Why are you staying in the light? Listen, you scared? I'm, I'm scared. I don't know what's out there. Like, why? Why? Like, I don't understand. Like, I don't entirely understand this story yet. And like, what could possibly be out there? You know? It 
did say hi hide it did go on an adventure diesel what's wrong with you <laughs> i'm not trying to die i don't i i i i i i i i captain i i can't move Oh my god! Yo! <laughs> What's up, Jay? I, I don't want to be here. I don't want to. I don't want to play this. It's so dark. I don't want to play this. The lights are flickering. I have to go. Right back to the living room. The fuck? Okay. Oh my god. Okay. <sighs> okay. So my sister gave me a journal even though my mom said no. She said that after her first painting sold, my mom would get her a few. She gave me one of them so I could kindly so I'm kind of happy about that. No one really knows that I'm really into writing besides my sister. This reporter met my family the other day after cleaning the house, taking out the trash, doing the dishes, wiping the floors clean, and swiping Sweeping up all the broken beer glasses from my dad, I assume. And lastly, after vacuuming the house, I was excited to meet the reporter. I saw him pull into the driveway. Drive away. Typo. Pen and notepad in hand. As I saw him get out of his car, my dad told me that I had to stay in my room. I tried to ask him for a reason, but he just sort of pushed me in and slammed the door shut. The door just before closing shut struck my nose and started bleeding it was really it was really the first time i've ever seen that much blood it tasted very metallic as if someone took a cup of water and dropped a bunch of coins in there then drank it i never got to meet the reporter even though i really wanted to marcus dude what l dad Time until next hint, 286. Did you enjoy the song? No. Do you remember what happens to her? No. Do you remember what happened to your family? No. The screaming, can you hear it? No. Have you ever seen her? Yes. Are you lying? No. She's watching you. Did you feel her eyes on you? No. Do you hear the footsteps? No. Hey, <laughs> yo. Air 82997. As far as I'm concerned, this is the safest part of the house. Bro, what do you mean? I guess I gotta walk around, right? I mean, I'm a man, come on. You got this, you got this, you got this, you got this. <sighs> Clearly we gotta go upstairs. I don't want to. So the static like made her ears bleed or some shit like that, remember? Remember that? That's what it said. Nah, I'm afraid right now. I'm like, I'm afraid. And I don't know what to do. And I'm freaking out a little bit. Yeah. 
Do I walk over there? I keep thinking there's somebody in my shower, dude. Is that my sister? Did y'all hear the screaming? Did y'all hear the scream? Oh my god, I was about to have a heart attack. I'm actually gonna stay in the TV. Is this phasmophobia? No, I wish. I, I wish it was. I wish it was. I. I don't know what to do. A two nine, A two nine nine seven. Like, these are just pictures, dude. I don't have anything else. Is there something? Wait, what is this? Oh, oh, it's a text. If you are receiving this. You have been chosen to participate in nationwide survey. I believe we believe you're your call. No, wait, we already read this. Maybe go to the room with that picture. What picture? I can't go down the hall. I can't go past that statue. So, what what room are you talking about? You think that's my room? That might be my room. Oh shit! Oh! Oh my god! <sighs> oh my god, okay. Um, I think that's the room they put me in. I think that's the room they put me in. Okay. I'm kind of sad, I mean, I'm only 15, but mom and dad are driving this whole painting thing a little crazy. They keep asking to paint for hours and hours and hours. It's not even something I'm, pa I'm passionate about. I really like playing the violin, but I'm not that great at it. But it's really fun. Both of my parents are really pushing this painting thing. They quite, they quit both of their jobs just to pursue it because it apparently makes them a lot of money. They never even asked if I wanted to keep doing this. I guess I don't really have a choice right now other than to keep painting. Maybe I'll make an excuse or maybe I'll try telling no. I wish they would just pay more attention to Marcus too. He puts so much effort into everything he does really well in school. It was Christmas the other week, and we had some family over. Marcus just looked so gloomy, so alone. Nobody even got him a Christmas present. Besides me, anyways, it's like he doesn't even exist to anyone else. I feel terrible. Also, Dad has been drinking a lot more lately. I mean, he had some drinks, but he's doing it more and more. He gets scary sometimes. Bro didn't even get a Christmas present from his parents. That's rough. I still can't. All right, I guess we're gonna. Are we opening this door? Is that what we're doing here? No, we can't. The picture on the phone looks like the closet. Which closet? Not our closet, not our bedroom closet. Bro didn't even get a Christmas present. And the, the thing's not working. I get, a, I get a hint in like 50 seconds. A walk-in closet maybe? Oh? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. What do I do? Try opening this door. You want, you want me to open this door? This door? Nope, okay. Okay, 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 close it, close it, close it. 
can't close it now. What the fuck? Oh. The key to the closet downstairs. All right. I hate painting. Mom and Dad want me to finish one piece a week. It's, it takes anywhere from 8 to 12 hours a day for me to meet the quota on top of going to school. I try to tell Dad to slow things down, but he wouldn't listen. So I try to stand up to them. I tried telling my... I tried telling my him that I didn't have the right color of red, so I wouldn't be able to finish the painting. Even though I did, he's... So he called Marcus down. He grunted, so you wouldn't have... He grunted, so you don't have the right color of red. You could smell the alcohol from his breath. He took Marcus and he started hitting his hitting his him until blood started to drip from his nose and eventually his lips started to tear open. He threw Marcus to the ground and continued to beat him and kick him until he was a bloody mess. He took a can of booze and poured it all poured it all over Marcus and walked off muttering something. Mom just turned a blind eye and started cleaning up the blood. Marcus sat there unconscious for a bit, and I helped him up to his room. He didn't say anything. All he did was smile. He had a wide grin on his face. I stayed with him until he fell asleep reading the book about cars. Dude, what the fuck? All right, that's kind of... That's, that's bad. That's bad. And the, the, the statue's back. What? Oh, the game crashed, bro. Don't tell me we got to redo all that. Do not tell me we have to redo all that. Oh, come on. Load game, load game, load game. No, it was getting good. Like, you know, in a, like, it was bad, but it was a good story. Bro, I don't even remember the code. Do y'all remember the code? She made your game crash? Stop the cap, bro. That's scary. That's scary. <laughs> bro, we gotta start all over. Bro, come on. What's the code? Do y'all remember the code? Eight. No, I still got the error. I still got the error, so we're we're not we're not fully set back because we already had the phone and everything. Okay. Yeah, and the blood's still on the floor. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're, all right. All right. My, minor setback. Wait, we gotta reopen the closet door again? Yep. Okay. Yo, stop. <sighs> okay. Now we're back to where we started and we still don't have we still don't have a thing i think we just need to listen to the song right is that what, do you think that's what we got to do that's the only thing we can do because we already read this or do we go to his room upstairs let's go upstairs oh my god Bro. 
Bro. What does this one say? Death of two siblings? Two bodies were recovered after a fire erupted inside the suburban home. The suburban house near a local elementary school. The fire apparently started late at night as neighbors were the ones to report the incident. Names have not been released, but the victims were identified to be an, a brother and a sister in their late teens. The two were home alone while their mother was a bit on a business trip and the brother was going to high school in the hall and also worked a part-time job at a grocery. How the fire started is unclear, but authorities have not ruled out foul play. According to investigators, a candle that was knocked over could have caused the tragedy. Officials have not ruled out foul play as a cause, but aren't suspicious of it due to the circumstances of the situation. Dude, did they just end, their, end themselves? Because they couldn't take the dead. One was getting abused, the other one was getting... So the one that walked into the closet was the brother. The one that ran out of, at you in the living room was the sister. Yup. I don't want to say we're the dad, but I don't think we're the mom. I think we're the dad. Maybe. I'm afraid. Oh my god, I hate that. Oh, I hate that. Shit got so real I had to turn on SpongeBob for the background noise. F is for friends who do stuff together. U is for you and me. Oh my god, I can't, dude. This is not... This game is... It's not like scary scary, but for some reason it's scaring the crap out of me. And, uh, I'm not about it right now. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, Wait, what? six, four. He watched her writing in pain as her condition Eight, set in knowing... Nine. Knowing nothing could be done to help her. Among all her family, she loved him the most. Yet, turn around. He had a taunting grin on his face as if he, seeing her suffer filled his heart with delight. For the first time in a long time, he felt joy. What do I do? Maybe the crash was intentional. I think we're the dad and I think we're paying for what we do to our kids. Ooh, horror. What's up, Mr. Ballin? Oh. Oh, what did that do? What did that do? That did... And we've seen... What? Just join what's this game? This game is called The Survey. And I'm not entirely sure. What do we do now? Any ideas, chat? Uh, I guess we walk around until something happens, right? It's our only best bet, right? Can I leave? Let's turn on the lights. Can I turn the lights now? And there's still... Go to the living room? There's nothing in the living room. Wait, am I supposed to knock all these down? 
There was one in here, one in the living room. Is there one in the kitchen? Somewhere? There's one in here. I don't know what we're, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just, I, I'm literally just hitting it. Let's go back upstairs. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Can I hit this, please? There we go. Eight, Anything? Two, Bro, I'm, I, I'm a, I'm four, a big scaredy cat at the moment. Eight, nine. I don't know why this game is getting six, so, four, like it's, it's hitting me hard. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Okay, that's locked. Please don't be nothing in here. What does that mean? I I don't know. There's there's nothing left. That's all of them. Eight, nine, two, Did I not do it right? I know there's Roman numerals on them. I don't know what that. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Unless we're missing some. Eight. Eight nine, nine two six four, six, yeah. Six, four. Eight, nine, I don't know, let's go back two, downstairs and see six, if something happens. Wait. Oh, did it go back up? I think we Oh Does anybody know Roman numerals? <laughs> Maybe we gotta do it in order. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Yeah, that one went back up too. And so did this one. Maybe we gotta hit it in a certain order. Um. All right. All right, this one is an IX. IX is a nine, eight, nine. So this is the second one. This is the second one. This is a VI. Eight, nine, two, that's a six. That's a six. That's a VII. That's an eight. So this is an eight. Eight. What's one's the nine? Eight nine two six four. IX. That's nine. VI is eight nine two six four. So we need to look for the two now. So it's not that one just yet. Is there one in here? No. Okay, let's go back upstairs. Four. Eight. Nine. Eight nine two six four. Eight nine two six four. Where upstairs though? I don't even. Eight nine. Oh, there's one right here. IV is eight nine. We're looking for the two. That's a four. That's four. Um. Bathroom? No, here. Room eight nine two six was downstairs, I think. No, six is VI. I think that was in the closet.
four. It's timed. It's not making the noise Six, anymore. Oh. Four. Six four. Eight nine two. Bro, what? Eight, you think it's nine, timed? Two, okay, six, so. Four. Eight nine two six four. Go fast, maybe. Maybe there's another one went back up. Maybe it is timed. You're probably right. <clears throat> so it's this room. Let's just let's just do it. Let's wait. Eight. Nine. Two is. I think right here. Eight, nine, two. Six, four. And then six is what, right here? Okay, I got it. I got it. I got it. I don't get it. I did all of them. It's a D. I don't know. Eight, nine, two, six, four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. They're all down. That is weird. No, they're still down. I don't know. Four. Eight, nine, two, six, four. That's weird. Eight, nine, two. I don't even know how to get them to go back up. That's the crazy part. TVs are on. I don't know. This might game. This game might be a flop. I can't figure this out. Oh, you're right. We haven't looked at that in forever. But it just says eight two set eight two nine nine seven. Eight nine two six four. Find the pictures hanging on the walls with these room noodles. Activate them in this order. It will open a door. Retrieve the note inside. Okay. We did that, and the pictures are not going up, so the door must be open. Good looks on the hand. I completely forgot about that. I wonder what door that was. The door upstairs. That door. Bro, we walked right past that, too. That's crazy. All right. Something just broke. All right. I can't move. Today I woke up, and I can't really explain it, but my right hip just feels extremely stiff. I tried to get out of bed, but I can barely turn my body without feeling pain. Update. My parents took me to the hospital just in case it was severe or life-threatening, but the staff seemed to be clueless as to what, it actually, what I actually have. 
They said they will need to complete further x-rays, possibly even use an MRI in order to verify their diagnosis. Hopefully I won't have to paint or anything. Ugh. I also had a really weird dream. I was alone in the house with Marcus, but for some reason he was always afraid of me. Every time I would try to get close to him, he would run away in fear. It was such a weird dream because in a way it felt like it lasted forever. That's the blood from the brother in the painting? No way. Since what? What? Oh, because... Oh. Maybe. You think so? I don't want to open the door, but we have to. The pictures are down. I'm afraid. Yo, did we break it because we said no? Like, nothing is happening. Wait, wait, wait. Go back up and turn one on. They all turn on. No, the, the. Yo, what the fuck? Oh, whoa, whoa. That is a creepy ass picture. <laughs> that is a creepy picture. Oh, picture. Oh, oh, snap. Um, P, 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 P. All right, we got two notes to read this time. My parents took Lil to the hospital after my sister said she felt immobile around her hip. She said it felt completely stiff as if all the muscles surrounding her hip had turned to bone. The other day, Dad threw me down the stairs because Lil's paintings weren't selling as much as they used to. He thought it was an entertaining way to encourage her to paint better, as he phrased it. I dislocated my shoulder on the way down after repositioning the joint back into the socket. I made a sling with some old rags I found in the closet. It still stings, but it should heal within a few weeks to a couple of months. School isn't too bad. I'm working on this, this little, so little project. With some of my friends, we're trying to create your own braking system for a car, something that can be controlled remotely. I wonder if I can reverse engineer it to do the opposite task and maybe cancel the braking system remotely. That would be an interesting challenge as long as I don't have to stay home, right? Yo, did he just kill his parents through a car accident? Yo, and at Luke, F this dad, bro, because that is messed up. All right, let's see. Diagnosis. To the Walker family, we had some difficulty. Wait. Yeah, difficulty in regards to diagnosing your doctor's specific condition. But we also concluded that it is fibrodysplasia, la la la, ossification. Y'all see it. It is a very rare but severe condition where the patient's soft tissue, when repaired, becomes ossified basically turning into bone this is due to a mutation in the repair mechanism of the body that results in this condition there are treatment options to slow down the process of the condition but i admit the future looks fairly grim in all honesty this is what will eventually happen the di the disease will spread throughout her body and so most of her soft tissue including tendons ligaments and even muscle will become ossified am i saying that right Probably not. The most we can do is provide medication in order to relieve the pain. But other than that, the condition has always been fatal. Your daughter might be able to make it to age of 40 if she is lucky. Please let us know what direction you would like to take. Thank you for your patience. Dr. Gammon. Gaiman. Whatever. Yo, that is rough. And I would have never saw that coming. Now the brother dislocated his shoulder. And the parents wouldn't even take him to the hospital. Now you got the, the, the sister that's actually sick. It might be dead before or by 40. Right. Nah, this is wild. 
like legitimately wild. Where is the mom in this situation though? Like I would like I know she turned a blind eye to her son getting the, the crap beat out of him, but like Like, you know, like I I would just like to know. Like She's gonna run after us again, isn't she? Where is she? I don't know where she's at. What's up, Danny? What game is this? The, the, the name of the game is The Survey. Oh shit. What's happening? Did you, did you want me to come in here? According to a recent poll, infidelity is at an all-time high. This may be due to marrying too young, lack of commitment, or even financial instability. Let us examine the story of Joseph and Mary Walker, the two married and bore a daughter Lilith, who was very talented in many artistic mediums, especially in painting. Joseph and Mary also had a son named Marcus. Joseph worked as a construction worker, while Mary worked as a secretary for a local business. Soon after discovering Lilith's talents, her parents encouraged her greatly to continue and perfect her skills. Eventually, a high enough demand for her paintings allowed the Walkers to become financially stable, simply by selling Lilith's art. Both Joseph and Mary quit their jobs as Lilith's paintings sold anywhere from $5,000 to $15,000 a piece, depending on the buyer. Due to this high demand, Joseph and Mary began to live life far above their means, taking advantage of their gifted child in order to satisfy their own greed. It started off with Joseph burning Marcus with cigarettes if Lilith refused to work. Oh. Slowly, the abuse became worse and more intense until one episode landed Marcus in the hospital. Marcus oh. had several bruises along with a dislocated arm. The family was forced to cover up the incident and no charges were filed. This abuse continued for a long time. Marcus grew accustomed to it. It was simply a part of his life, just as much as breathing or sleeping. After Lilith was diagnosed with a rare bone condition, everything changed. She lost her ability to paint, leading the family into a period of financial hardships. Joseph wasn't able to find work due to his alcoholism, but Mary was able to find a job at her old company. Her former employer kept in touch with her throughout the years. Tension began to build within the family. Marcus usually remained passive among family affairs, but the situation gave him much joy. They were suffering, and he knew it. He couldn't have been happier. 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 Whoa. What's up, bro? What's good, buddy? Welcome in. How are you? All right, that's dark. That's dark. That's dark. Oh my god, dude. I can't get out. Is she coming in here? Mm. 
Bro, I'm freaking out because I don't want to get too close to the I got a man up. I got a man up. Go to the door. Go to the door and just stay there. Parents gave me the news, so I have this condition called whatever that is, whatever that is, whatever that is. Basically, it's a condition where my soft tissue, ligaments, tendons, muscles gradually turn into bone. They said that they, that eventually I'll lose mobility in my arms, legs, neck, everywhere until I'll need a caretaker to basically do everything for me. Right now, I feel it in my arms and torso. For now, I just sort of stay in my bed. It hurts to walk around, and I can't really exercise or damage my body in any way, or else it'll speed up the process. I mean, I'm only 15, so this is a lot to take in, knowing that I'm slowly becoming more and more immobile. It's a bit ironic, isn't it? I wish that I could stop painting or that I wouldn't have to anymore, and this is, and this was the answer I received. The best they could do was prescribe medication for the pain, and a year from now, there is a good chance that I won't be able to walk, and I'll be in a wheelchair or worse. I just hope my family will be stable without my help. I'll be a pretty big burden. The other day I overheard my parents arguing. My mom brought up the idea of getting a divorce. I feel like this is all my fault. Night, Prince. Be safe. Thanks for vibing. Yo, this is sad. This is very sad. Okay, let's go downstairs, I guess. Wait, phone? Maybe? Nope, still can't do the survey. What else does it want me to do? There's nothing else. Like, give me a hint. Another hint in literally, like, a few minutes. I do now is there any more text no it's like it waits for like a certain time to do something does it or is that just me I should have just said yes to everything dude I wonder if that's the reason why it's not letting me do the surveys anymore This is a little 
This is a very confusing game. On a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being the scariest, how scary is this game? Um, honestly, probably like a 7. I wouldn't say it's scary. It's more like the atmosphere is scary. Like you're wondering if she's gonna like pop out. It's more any. It's more sad than anything else. Like it has like a very interesting story. A very sad, interesting story. Jeez, dude. Like that scares me. And I don't know what to do. I, I'm just literally just waiting for this hint at this point. 120 seconds. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I don't know what to do. So you like Chaz? It's all right. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. I hate having to wait, but like, man, this, this game is not like a straight line. It definitely is not. Like the radio's not going off, like nothing is happening. Like, what could you possibly want from me? All right, it's gonna tell us in like 15 seconds. This is confusing. Dude, it definitely is. Pick up the note in the hallway and the note in the washing machine. Washing machine room, then head downstairs and pick up the note in the dining room. There was a note in the washing machine? Yo, how the fuck? I overheard them talking about Lilith's condition, about what Lilith's condition was. Apparently she was some sort of bone disorder. Basically her body keeps becoming more and more immobilized. So she's basically paralyzed. The process can be take a while, but it continually gets worse and worse. They seem very worried about it. As far as I know, Lilith won't be able to paint. I wonder what will happen. Mom and dad were screaming at each other the other day. I've never seen them angry like that. It was quite entertaining seeing them bicker and yell. I had a wide grin across my face as I watched the spectacle. My parents have been trying to find work ever since they heard the news, but only my mom was able to find a job and her with her old employer. Dad hadn't Dad hasn't had any luck. It's quite an unfortunate situation. I did a bit more research on the condition and it seems incurable. My parents seem like they're in a state of panic. I've never seen them like this before. Frantic, scared, and unstable. I've never been more excited in my life. Yo, you just created a villain. I mean, could you blame him? His parents treated him like shit.
It said pick up the note in the dining. Hold up. It said pick up the note in the hallway, then pick up the note in the washing room, then head downstairs and pick up the note in the dining room. I did that. Did I not do that? Oh, oh, right here, right here, right here. Why does it say that? My mom showed him the divorce. The, 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 the. My mom, my mom showed him the the divorce paperwork, and she was livid, or he was livid. I've never seen my dad this furious. His bloodshot eyes trembled in fear because he knew he was powerless against her decision. He kept taking beer bottles and smashing them against the kitchen table after he heard the news. She said she was tired of having him drink during having him just drinking all day and not contributing to the family at all. I left the little surprise room in the car. He'll find out while he's driving. Well, for now, I guess I'll just be... It'll just be my mom, Lilith, and I. She asked me to get a part-time job since we'll need the money to help with those medical bills. I don't mind working even though I'm still in high school. I'll be pretty busy, but I guess I'll just have to deal with it. It'll be hard, though. I went to the doctor the other day, and he examined my shoulder. It turns out I've had a torn rotator cuff for a while now, but I've never been able to get it checked be out because of my dad. I haven't been able to rotate my arm past 90 degrees without feeling this tearing sensation of um, on, on the back of my shoulder. Thanks, Dad. I guess in the end of the day, I guess in the end, everybody gets what they deserve. Please tell me that it's the dad that gets in the car and not the mom. Because that would just, like... Run at me. Yeah, you do that a lot, and it still scares me. Alright, suicide now? It's been hard the last year. I've been working overtime almost every week at my job ever since the divorce just to cover any everything. Lilith, well, she was bedridden and, re relieved on Mar um, re and relied on Marcus for just about everything. Marcus was attending college and working at the same time. I went on a business trip for about a week and didn't get the news until I came home. The house caught fire. I also let Lilith die to a horrific death, burning alive as the flames consumed her. They said the fire started in a room, most likely be by a candle they that was tipped over. The neighbors, they said all they heard was a haunting scream like an animal that knows its death is approaching. Everything is gone, my kids, my house. I Did I deserve this? I was so blinded by greed. I'm a horrible person. I let my son be abused for years just to force my daughter to paint and make myself some money. I guess Joseph got what was coming to him. Now it's my turn. I just wish I could watch over them. Mary Walker. So, what happened to my son? My daughter's dead. Did, was the son in there? Was the son in, I don't think the son was in the house. What is she talking about? It's definitely not the dad. scared me. I'm now. Joseph. Oh. Back with an update concerning our latest story. A drunk driver was recently killed in an accident outside a local liquor store. According to friends and family, the man had been going through a divorce with his wife. Oh probably shit. Probably trying to drink his sorrows away. He swerved off the road, crashing his car into a tree. Officers have noted that there might have been tampering involved with the braking system of the vehicle. Fortunately, the in 
individual suffered greatly while dying. I know a certain someone that would be happy to know so. Don't worry, I'm stuck as well. This was Joseph, bringing the local news. What? I mean, we knew, like, we knew. <laughs> she's right there. Oh, she's gone. Thanks for the follow. It's been almost a year since I've been diagnosed. It's gotten worse recently. I'm losing control of my hands, so it's quite it's getting quite difficult to write. One day I wake up and I'm unable to move a certain part of my body. It's a bit horrifying having your all your muscle ligaments and tendons slowly turning into bone. Muscles have no, Marcus has been taking care of me. I feel like I'm such a burden on him to him. On top of school, his part-time job, and taking care of me, he seems so busy. Mom's been working overtime almost every weekend trying just to help with my medical bills. I mean, we have insurance, and we still have some money left over from my paintings, but it's still getting pretty rough to pay for everything. I can't walk anymore, so I'm pretty sure I'm pretty much c confined to my bed most of the time. My favorite part of the day is when my brother comes in to check on me. Hopefully he'll never read this. This is embarrassing, but I feel like I'm holding him back. After dad died, he just seemed so much more alive. I guess he got what he deserved, but it, is this my punishment too? Is this the end of the game? I get I get killed. Do I go? I think I got I think I gotta move. Just this there. Alright, here we go. Oh, okay, we're good, we're good. Okay. I can barely keep up with everything. I was accepted into this into the university that I really wanted to attend, but I decided not to go through it through with it if i did leave no one would be able to take care of my sister if i'm being honest i wish i could leave i want to move on and i just I just forget about her my mom and dad all of them i've decided to attend this community college first and then transfer to a university afterwards to save money also i won't be in a ton of debt after i graduate so that'll be nice last night i saw something in a, a bit disturbing as i made my way to my room Lil's door was slightly ajar. And I could also hear this high-pitched scraping sound. It was my sister scraping her nails against the wall. 
I turned the light on and there was blood covering her hand. She was running the tips of her fingers across the wall up to the point where her fingernails were now loosely attached to her finger. She seemed so out of touch with reality. I looked at her other hand, but it was bent at an awkward position, her wrist bending towards her body while her fingers would look stiff. This thing in my house, I don't think this was my sister. My sister was a painter, a talented girl with immense potential. Her eyes gradually turned towards me. I felt them almost reaching out to me, pleading for comfort. I gave her none. What the f I can't have this full screen, but you can. Gives you the option if you look on the bottom right corner. Like, of the actual stream, not like the chat part. There's a little symbol you can just, it'll let you turn it. Now that's just crazy. She got possessed or something? No, like I'm scared. <laughs> yeah, me too. This is getting nuts. Oh, look, something else. Time to close the freaking door. Oh, I don't need to. Yo, I don't like the music. Yet. I don't like the background sounds. They're freaking me out. Mom is leaving for about a week. She's going on a business trip, so she's leaving me in charge to take care of the house and my sister. I check on her briefly about once or twice a day just to make sure she's still alive. I might forget to check throughout the week. Though it's such a chore taking care of her, why can't she just die already? Am I wrong for saying that? Because of her talent, her God giving gift to paint, it destroyed our family. Without it, everything would be normal. In the end, everybody gets what they deserve, and she's getting her end right now. Dad received his. My mom is breaking, and mom is breaking her back just to make ends meet. I wonder what my end will be. Will have in store. Who knows? Maybe I'll get the worst ending of them all. I realize that my hatred for her is wrong and unjustified wasn't her fault she was born with this with that skill i feel guilty that i enjoy hearing and seeing her in pain it's an it's an immature reaction for so long i wished for someone to feel my suffering i would get beatings almost every week with my mom and sister just watching it was almost entertaining thinking of what what i could tell people at school what they asked about the cuts and bruises now it's a little different i guess i'm in control and she's the helpless one i don't really believe in a heaven or hell but if one exists, I'll probably end up in the the ladder. I'm assuming that's the bad part. And now the, the whole screen's red. The whole screen's red. Oh, shit. Let's do it. This will be the last letter I write. I feel my right hand becoming immobile and stiff. Mom left a couple days ago and it's been up to Marcus to take care of me. Even though his visits have been getting shorter and less frequent over the last few months. I understand I'm just a burden to him and my mom. He hasn't checked up on me ever since she left. I've tried everything, knocking, banging my head against the wall, screaming. I mean, that's all I can really do since I'm practically immobile. Sometimes I get my hopes up hearing him walk up the stairs. Just maybe he'll walk through the door and check on me. Did I deserve this for not standing up for to, to, for not standing up to my parents and letting all this happen? All of this, it's my fault. I'm sorry, Marcus. I promise I'll never be a burden to you ever again. Oh my God, dude. That's. Oh my God. What? Oh my God. I'm so afraid now. I'm afraid to move. God is dead. 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 
what time zone are you in? I'm in the East Coast. I think I gotta go upstairs, right? I feel like. This game went from plain scary to just so sad, still scary. Bro, I feel very uncomfortable right now. Like, very, very, very uncomfortable. I gotta make sure I check, like, everything. I hear the piano, though. I don't know where it's coming from. Bro, how do you not check on your sister in days if your mom is gone? That means she hasn't been eating or anything. Like, what the fuck? Where? Where am I going? What are you looking for? I have no clue. A hint won't be won't be up until I really don't want to wait for the hint. I don't know where that piano noise is coming from. I thought I would have done something with that cross or something, but clearly not. A candle, maybe? I keep thinking we have to burn the house down or something. Oh, why is this happening? Any ideas, chat? Even though we got 90 seconds on the hint. Bro, that's so crazy. You th the game is called the survey, but you barely do a survey. The attic? There's no attic. Why is my light red? I just realized that I'm the reason why everything's red. Yeah, there's literally nothing. 30 se almost 30 seconds. No notes or anything. Like, I hear the piano. I guess let's just wait the 15 seconds. Mm, maybe. Maybe living room. Enter the art room, pick up the note, head downstairs, pick up the note in the bottom of the stairs, turn off the radio. Oh shit, she's right there.
But we still wake up on the bed. We're not really dead. Nah, this game's weird. Alright, let's see. I think this is... Is this the last note? Maybe not. Alright. Life is pretty quiet, to be honest. To be honest According right now. To the police report, oh. Both bodies were recovered. So, the young woman was dead at the scene. After performing an autopsy, it was confirmed that the fire led to her death. But officials also found something strange. Her body was starving. What officials think occurred was during her final moments as an act of desperation she lit a candle inside her room and started the fire herself. Her younger brother, Marcus Walker, might have neglected her to such a degree. She chose to end her life to ease her suffering. Emotions ranging from jealousy, hatred, enviousness, and frustration might have drove him to neglect her, despite her cries for help. Due to her rare disorder, she was extremely immobile and required help for the simplest activities. She required Marcus for everything. Marcus might have held animosity towards her, as for almost his whole life, everyone had paid their attention to her. Perhaps Marcus wanted her to feel isolated and alone, an emotion he was very familiar with. He wanted vengeance for a crime she didn't commit. Marcus's body was mostly unharmed, though he was not conscious at the scene. He was taken to a local hospital, where he currently resides. He is currently in a coma induced by smoke inhalation and has been unconscious ever since the fire. No one knows when, or if, he will ever wake up, or what he is experiencing. He could be experiencing nothing at all, or he might be suffering. The only living relative he had was his mother, Mary Walker, who committed suicide shortly after she heard about the incident. Oh my God. His father, Joseph Walker, was killed in a suspicious road incident where his brakes stopped working while driving under the influence. Due to his unusual situation, no one is left to decide whether or not they should keep him alive in his coma. Many may wonder whether he regrets his actions, whether he regrets neglecting his sister, starving her, and psychologically torturing her to the point of suicide. Others speculate that years of domestic abuse by his father Joseph, along with neglect from his family, left him psychologically scarred. Whatever the case may be, he tortured and isolated his sister. His sister, who loved him, and did everything necessary to protect him. Hopefully all members of the family get what they deserve. In Marcus's case, he's stuck in his own personal purgatory. Stuck in a place between life and death, an eternity of suffering awaits him. Thank you for listening. This was Joseph Walker, bringing your local news to you. Bro, no way. We didn't even read the last note either. Hold up, hold up. Can I read it? Life is pretty quiet, blah, blah, blah. My mom is set, is set to come home in a few days. It was nice having a house to myself for about a week. I'll admit, sometimes it gets really... It gets eerily quiet, and sometimes I hear very, these soft knocks coming from the walls. Other times I hear crying and sobbing, sometimes I even even screaming. It usually doesn't last too long, but still, it's a bit unusual. I have a strange feeling that I've forgotten something, like I've forgotten to finish some sort of chore. Or, well, it probably isn't important anyway. I had a strange dream the other day. I woke up in the house, but I was alone, but I felt as if something was watching me. I couldn't leave. And every once in a while, something would attack me. I would wake up again, and it kept repeating until I woke up for real, except I only thought it was real. After waking up so many times in this eternal dream, I couldn't distinguish reality from it. Eventually, I woke a bit shaken. The dream was definitely worth noting. Though, even though it was horrifying. I, I smell something burning. Holy shit, dude.
Yeah, you were right. That is his hell loop. Bro, I I really questioned that too. I was like, he he didn't go up to her or anything. That means he wasn't feeding her or bathing her or anything. She killed herself because she she felt like it was her fault and she was starving probably. That is that is insane. That's insane. Wild. Wild. Oh my god, yo. Did you realize the dude on the radio was the dad? Was it? I didn't even know I didn't I didn't notice. I did not notice. No way. I had no idea. Joseph Walker. I didn't notice. Nah. Rate the game, chat. Dude, that's nuts, actually. Very sad story. I mean... One son got abused and tortured. Practically. The parents only cared about money. The daughter, Lily... The do I don't know, man. That's, that's a, that is a rough story. Creepy story. That's a very, like... It's creepy. It's bad. It's... I don't know. I feel very uncomfortable. Go tell somebody you love them, chat. I don't know. That just seems very... that. Love everybody. I don't know. That's just it's a very sad story. Are you done playing? Yeah, I'm done. That that's the only two games I had planned, and it was I did honestly I don't think it disappointed. Um, they're pretty good. I can't complain. Um, but yeah, let me know what you guys want me to play next. I'll probably be live tomorrow. I gotta find something to play though. Did Texas Roadhouse come out already? I saw people playing that. Yeah, I saw people playing Texas Roadhouse today. Did that game come out already? I don't think it came out. We could always try Granny. I know somebody today said they weren't a big fan of Granny, but I never played it. Oh no, Granny doesn't just Granny doesn't look scary though. Texas Roadhouse. When are you going to play it again? Probably tomorrow if I can figure out a game to play. I don't know any games to play. No, wait. Okay, we will be live. I will say this. We will be live tomorrow on YouTube um, streaming the new... Uh, what's it called? Modern Warfare 3 event tomorrow. Or today, I should say. It's today at like 1.30 or something like that. It's like 1.30 to 3.30 or something. Or 2.30. It's like an hour-long event. Um, but then after that, we'll like take a break and then... To today, like tonight, again, we'll be on doing whatever we're doing. Try Texas Roadhouse if it's out. And if not, Granny. I just feel like Granny isn't entertaining. And I don't want to give you guys a game that's not entertaining. I just really don't know what to play, but those games weren't that bad. I was very surprised at how they turned out. I don't know, there's just a lot the games are just dry right now. There is this game. I haven't I've been meaning to try this. I don't know, we'll see. Hello, I wasn't gonna say anything. What? Say what? I just don't know how that game is. But that's it. That's all I got for y'all today. Y'all be safe. Did you try Madison already? Yeah, I played Madison last year. The game's okay. I'll probably never touch it again. I just didn't... I didn't really enjoy it. But, uh... Y'all have a great night. Be safe. And I will see you guys in the next stream, which is tomorrow for the Warzone event tomorrow for Modern Warfare 3 World Premiere Trailer, whatever. And, uh... Probably play, like, a little bit of horror games. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. But, uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. Subscribe to the YouTube. Link is in the bio. Follow the kick. Link is in the bio. And join the Discord if you want to. I'm out. I love you guys. Bye-bye.